G'day and welcome to another episode. My name is Deshro, the Aussie Geek, and today we are looking at Titan's Return, Titan Class Fortress Maximus. Now, I told myself I wasn't going to do another Titan for a while, but then all of a sudden Hasbro says, oh, we're going to reissue Fort Max, and I thought, why not? Let's do an episode on Fort Max. Um... Probably the only uh, character I'll actually get a um, a jump on. So we'll see how this goes. As you can see, here's Fort Max, and this is going to be fun filming. If you see any dust, it's probably because I missed it. He usually sits in one spot with uh, my Titans, uh, Titan Master Repugnus on his shoulder, and I do need to do my uh, spring cleaning for my Titans yet. So here he is. Uh, by the way, I'll put a link in the uh, a link in the description. I'll put a note card up in the top corner. Uh, the gun does not come with uh, Fort Max. It is a uh, upgrade kit, which I have done a video on before. So there's a link there to that video if you're interested. Apart from that, he is the tallest. He is the biggest. Even with my uh, War for Cybertron Earthrise Scorponok, he's bigger. And the only reason my Scorponok actually measures up anywhere near him now is because he had upgrade kits in his knees. So even without the upgrade kits, he's still bigger. He's taller than Metroplex. He's taller than Omega. He's taller than Trypticon. Um, he's definitely taller than I would assume of uh, Cybertron Metroplex. And as I always keep saying, <coughs> excuse me, he's one of the characters I don't, I'm not kidding. Although in hindsight, what looks like it's coming in uh, Legacy United, that's going to be interesting to see the difference. All right, so we can try to get down to some articulation. I will take the gun out of the way, which I will use later for something else. So here we go, so we'll just stretch that arm out. And honestly, he is the only character that is a remold of something else. He's literally a remold of Metroplex, of Generations Metroplex. And I will point out a feature he has that he technically shouldn't have um, afterwards. But for the mate, for the most part, um, this is Metroplex's backside, whereas the other way around, it's obviously the other way around. Um, all this has been remolded. Um, arms are pretty much the same. Um, there are some features in the arms, including this piece that is part of Metroplex. Uh, obviously, Metroplex heads different because you know, Fort Max is a triple changer or a triple headmaster. One, two, three, yeah, triple headmaster. Well, Double headmaster, because Spike doesn't transform into, doesn't have his head transformed. Anyway, beside the point. Um, these legs, except for the uh, the foot itself, the more the outside here, because that's basically Metroplex's foot. And basically, instead of oops, these pieces that are now on his shoulders, Metroplex has them on the front. I would get Metroplex in here. Actually, you know what? Let's get Metroplex in here. So as I said with Fort Max, Metroplex is quite dusty. If I push him across a little bit, because this is going to be quite big. There is Metroplex. It's generation Metroplex. So if I turned, I'll do it this way around, make it a little bit easier. So there is Fort Max's crutch plate. The legs are identical, except for the fact that the ramps are now on, uh, we're on Metroplex's front of his foot. Foot's identical, except now you've got extra plastic around here. Um, and you have this feature here that I'll get into in a second. Also, this piece here, is literally right 
right there. So yeah, he's a remold of Metroplex, and there's a one surefire thing there that literally proves that completely without having to look at different parts. All right, so we said I said I was doing articulation. Oh, by the way, um, if this guy comes with stickers for the re-release, I suggest maybe here, maybe these, leave the rest. Honestly, unless you are brilliant at stickers, which I am not, I'm only good when it comes to slightly putting my um, insignias on. These guys look perfectly fine without stickers, and a lot of the time they don't adhere. He, they, they're not as adhesive um, for too long, and heat and whatnot will peel them off. So, you know, if you want to clean up um, Titan, especially, just don't worry about the stickers unless they're essential. It's like, admittedly, if if they completely re-release this, I would hope that Takara would just put the repaint the stuff on and use you know, plastic instead. So, head cannot do a full 360 due to the back of the head. It cannot look up or down or left or right. Now, it has electric features, but I'll get to that in a minute. Arms can do a full 360. They come out this far. You have the ratcheted bicep twist. You have single jointed elbow that gets you up that far you have wrist rotation you have what would you call it a pin i wouldn't put exactly call a pin but thumb moves and you have articulated fingers but it's only um typewriter fingers you have ratcheted wrist rotation which will go all the way around there is no ab crunch which i would have been shocked if this did have ab crunch you have it goes out that far, which I just tilt that up a little bit. We have no hip rotation. We just have this thigh rotation that's ratcheted. We have knee bend that goes that way back, and my foot's just going on me. You can go forward as well if you have a use for that. Yeah, back up there. And apart from untransforming the feet, there is no ankle. Ro there is no ankle rotation. There's no tip toe bend. There is no um, ankle tilt. That's the word I was thinking of. And he does have a tendency to want to lean back sometimes. So, so to just find the comfortable spot okay so as for metroplex if you really wanted to use them you do have this ratchet here that will allow you to bring the arm forward if you have any use for that also these move there is also this here which can fold down if i can get my finger under it and goes all the way down now for Metroplex, when I do it, there is actually a gun that's in here. Right back. Um, might as well get it out of the way, but we have this, which folds down, which is usually where his shoulder gun sits, but I took it out for um, Spike to use for his shoulder cannon. Um, I think, where else? So there is supposed to be electric features, which is supposed to hit this, and that one actually worked. Shutting down for some reason. Kind of skip that last one. Also, I find it interesting. Pre Omega, um, Fort Max and Metroplex are the only ones with um, sounds and lights. 
honestly, which no Trypticon. Trypticon doesn't have it. So, yeah, I, I obviously with when it comes to um, Fort Max, the systems were already there for the most part. And with Metroplex, he actually uses sound clips from Wolf of Cybertron. So, thank you for that for what it's worth. So, we might as well get down to size comparison before we start pulling them apart. And here he is with MP10. As you can see, he's roughly about just above his shins. And for a more recent size comparison, Here he is with Omega, which as you can see there, he's easily picking over his shoulder. And I was thinking about getting the, um, the uh, Guardian Sentinel Omega, but for $330 just for a recolor, I'm going to skip it. Maybe it'll come on special if I'm super lucky. All right, so we're going to get this guy down to his components first, and then we'll get down to his actual proper transformation. So what we'll do is we're going to detach his head, and we're going to detach Spike, and we'll just put Omega's body down on the ground so that hopefully I can focus. Yep. Damn. All right, apologize for the emotion sickness. I don't know why he fell down. And we're gonna go down a little bit further, I think. I think it was just how I had his foot. All right, so bring all this down and we'll put Cerebros over there for the moment. And we have Spike. So actual spike with wiki. I can get a little bit closer. Excuse me a second. Sorry for the motion sickness. And there is Spike. And he looks pretty good. He's pretty well painted. He, I'd say because of the Titan class um, aesthetic, that's why they gave him more of a paint. Um, so his actual face is painted. And he's, I think that's actual probably more along the lines of plastic, same with his feet. But he looks good. He looks pretty damn good. So articulation, head can do full 360. Arms can go out that far. Arms can go up that far with a little bit of detail in there. Legs go forward. Legs barely go back. And knees bend both ways. Now, let's get, well, suppose we could do a size comparison. Why not? Why the hell not? Now, he doesn't want to stand up. There he is. Next to MP10. And back in the day, when I had 15-minute videos, chances are him and Cerebro would have had their own video and Fort Max would have been left aside. Thankfully, it's not the old days. But what we can do is we can transform him. We just flip his feet forward. And voila, we have Cerebro's head. And yeah, this is the American Cerebros. This is not the Japanese Cerebros. Uh, Fort Max did come in Japanese colors. So if that was more your thing, you could do it that way. But let's put that aside. And we're going to need Fort Max's head. And we're going to transform him into Cerebros. So we're going to flip this down. And it actually makes sound effects. We're going to flip these in. Keep things in focus. We're going to pull this out all the way. Do the same thing on the other side. And flip down these two, which create his feet. Flip down these two, which create his heels. We're going to split here. And it doesn't really tab in or anything. And it's going to go all the way back. You have this tap port here, which will go into this hole here. And then all you want to do is rotate his elbows. And there is Cerebros almost fully transformed. Just going to lift the camera up just a little smidge a bit. There we go. And Autobot sticker comes with the sheet. 
like I said, this one and the one that's on Fort Max is probably the only ones I'd worry about. As for Cerebros, uh, Daniel, because of the way the head's designed, you have a small gap at the front and a big gap at the back, I find it easier to turn Daniel's head, uh, Spike's head around so that the big pieces at the back and the actual face is facing front. That way, it fits better and you actually get sound effects from it going in. Now, these two pieces are actually the parts, and I'll show you uh, in a minute when I get back to his main body, that actually set off the um, sound effects. But, interesting enough, Cerebros, as you've been noticing, has his own sound effects. So, Fort Max won't say that. And it's just mostly shooting sounds and whatnot, I think. Yeah, I think we're at the back of the beginning. So there we go. So here is Cerebros. And here's an interesting thing. Put it in the comments if you know. What was Cerebros' original robot uh, vehicle mode? Because he arrives on... Um, oh, God. The ne uh, Nebulos and gets rebuilt by Daniel into what he is now. What was he before he became um, a headmaster? Because obviously he transformed into something. He was a transformer. So if you know the answer to that, put it in the comments section. And we can do some articulation. Head won't do a full 360 because of the face plate. You can try, but you'll probably scuff it. Arms can do a full 360. They can come out this far. You have a ball-jointed bicep, which also gets you up that far. There's no uh, turning, or, no, is it? No. There's no wrist swivel or anything, and he actually has open hands instead of a fist. He does not. For a minute there, I thought he actually had waist swivel. Apparently not. I thought he, I thought he actually had waist. Well, there you go. That surprises me. And there's no um, ab crunch, obviously. Leg gets up this far. Legs go back that far. Hip comes out this far, and of course you can use that transformation joint if you feel you need to. We have mid-thigh rotation. We have single jointed knee. We have no ankle tilt, although we can move heel and toe if you really need to move that. So let's do another size comparison. There he is with MP10. So he's about barely bottom abs high to prime. All right, let's bring the body back in, and this is where all the fun really kicks into gear. So put that off to the side over here. We will need him for partial transformation. There we go. Why did you fall that off? Now, It's always those hits. Now, Fort Max is a triple changer, right? He has three modes. Sorry for the motion sickness. He has his robot mode. He has a base mode. And he has a spaceship mode. Two of them, he does well. The third one, I hate because they redesigned it which I think is stupid because every other um, Titan has had, for the most part, even with Omega's limited um, tracks, have had a proper, um, all their modes. Trypticon has it, Scorponok has it. Scorponok has a beautiful base mode, I like that. He's missing a proper base mode, but we'll get to that in a minute. So what we're going to do, is we're just going to basically lie him down. Face flat. No, we're going to put him on his back. That's what we're going to do. So lay him down like so. You're going to come under the back here. Oh, by the way, these gray pieces, if you can see them, are what actually press on Cerebros to make the sound effects. So this is all going to come up and lock into place. Oh, I keep, I knew I was going to forget. You also have Titan ports all over the place. So go hunting. 
Also, he has no uh, blast effects. That's, this is before that. So you're going to rotate the shoulders all the way around. Try to make sure that I'm actually getting half of this. And we also want to do is rotate the bicep. I'm going to have to come down a little bit. Excuse me. That'll be too far now. You're going to pull the thumb out. Just rotate the... Oh, you do have in as well. Just wrap that around and they can sit like that. That just sits there. It doesn't tab in. Same on the other side. Might as well get the hand done first. So we're going to... This way. Is that the way I want it? Yep. Just fold that around. Bring it all the way around. And lay that flat. All right. We kind of come around the back. And this is why it doesn't sit very flat. This is going to come up. So is this one. They're going to tab together. So it's basically port and tab. And we're going to flip these up. So this is where we're going to need to re again. So I'm just going to disconnect Daniel. And get him into his tower mode. We're going to rotate this back around. Fold this forward. So the details are like this. You want to rotate these forward. And you want to flip up the feet and heels, and you want it facing this way. So there's little gaps where his foot will slide down, and there's this piece here that will go into one of these boosters, which is what gives you your sound effects in this mode. There we go. All right, almost done. Now we have, oh, sorry about that. We have the feet, and all we're going to do there oh, is basically what we want to do is we want to flip this, just untap this, flip it down, and basically pieces here will hold it. This tab is supposed to go in here, but I can never get it to line up. Untap this one, if I get it. And lock that slightly into place. Sorry. And there is Fortress Maximus in his shuttle mode or his spaceship mode. Oops, turn that the wrong way. Ah. There we go. And he does have wheels. Thanks, you Metroplex. And you're supposed to lift these up. And there we go. So there is him in his spaceship mode, which is one of the two legitimate modes. So there we go. So, yes. Try to do this without making things squeak. So there we go. Now we can we do it in this mode. Yeah, I suppose we can do it in this mode. Um, we'll give it a try. No, we'll have to do it in the other mode. The other mode will make it easier. Kinda. All right. So obviously you have ramps and whatnot that can come open, and of course you. Supposed to have the gun in here and voila, I like that if you want. Um, this can detach, it comes um, separate, which when I get to a different mode, I'll actually show that. But yeah, that's Fort Max in his spaceship mode, which is basically him laying on his back with his legs turned around. Take that for its worth, but at least it's the a proper mode. All right, now let's get into the made-up mode because they didn't give the legs proper articulation and stuff for um, this mode. All right, we're going into base mode. And I apologize beforehand for any squeaks. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the leg forward. And we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to try to turn it around without squeaking. Pull this one out. Make sure that's all right and dandy. And it is getting a little big. So I'll try to pull the camera back a little bit. I don't know how well this is going to help. Um, there we go. That might help a bit. And I'm supposed to put these up. And that is his. Oh, I forgot one. Here to make it easy to access to. There is a ramp down here. But yeah, that is his base mode. It is literally standing just short of the proper base mode because of one simple thing. His legs don't have the gaps in the back. Basically, these should fold up and sit back here. So if you look up G1 Fortress Maximus, his legs would be sitting on either side of here. But because this is designed off Metroplex's legs, it won't do it. And I'll see if I can do it. So I'll just unflip that for the moment. But here you go. Metroplex's leg splits. So they all they had to, would have had to done was replace the leg splits, put an extra gap in the back, and it would have been fine. So, let me show you my own attempt of at a, um, you know what, I just realized I didn't do a size comparison with the shift mode. But I'll tell you what, we'll do it this way, because there's not too much difference in size. So, there's wind blade. And there's MP10. So just imagine that longer the other way. So here we go. But my own personal mode, and what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna unplug this piece here, which on my plastic here does not wanna, is not a huge fan because it's Blue water off in it. So we're going to take that off because that's going to get in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this around so that once again we have the plastic here holding this up. I'm going to do it on the other side, trust me. And then what I'm going to do, actually we'll get that out of the way because we need it out of the way. What I'm going to do then is I'm just going to split the arms. But at the same time I'm going to flip these pieces up here, so the ramps. And I'm going to splay the arms out. And then I'm just going to put the ramps on the thighs, like so. And now, not only do we have this ramp here, we have this port here. Of course, we can flip this up and get that around and Turn that around, and we can just throw a spike in there. Try to get him transformed again. And this is pretty much how I have him situated anyway. See him in there. And so we have the ramp here, we have this port here, we have him on gun, but now we have the actual underarms of the joints. So these are your inside ratchet joints. Now you have these compartments. You have these for takeoff, which now we can bring this piece back if you absolutely want to, and just sit it on there. That to me, and you can argue the point, please feel free to argue the point, that to me looks more like a base mode than just by having the arms pulled forward and sitting there. That to me looks like a base mode. Yes, it's a self. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot. Got to bring the big gun in. So just flip that back. That's the same way that I do with Scorpionock. And there is a port back here for a screw. And that will actually fit in there. Not a lot. 
you just want it just enough in that it's not going to go anywhere. So there you go. So it even has a weapon attack system. So there we go. I honestly feel that's a better base system. I know a lot of us in the community have actually um, done differences. Beg my pardon. To get the legs to be a back here like you want them to, even with the ratchets and joints in the knees and the, and the thigh, will not get them in place. You literally have to screw them, unscrew them, to put them where they're supposed to go. So I'm pretty sure when they re-release this guy, they're not going to change anything. Just be aware for those of you purists who missed out on Titan's Return, Fortress Maximus, and want that classic base mode, you're not going to get it. So either wait for uh, Fans Toys to release their 5 foot Fort Max, which is probably going to cost somewhere in the area of four or $5,000 itself, or at least probably two or $3,000. Or if you're getting this guy, which I highly suggest you get this guy, um, just beware, he's not going to have a proper third base mode. All right, so we can get this guy transformed back into robot mode. And there is two other accessories I didn't get around to showing, which you've already seen, but I haven't got around to it yet. So I'm going to take the gun away and put that aside. All right, so we're going to disconnect Cerebros. Just going to transform and we'll put that aside for the moment and we'll get this back into robot mode so we'll put these down we're going to with the least amount of squeaking possible flip these up we're going to close that up and bring the leg down hopefully this is actually filming all that the other down flip the foot up and where is it? It's basically, you can see it, there's two ports on either side of the feet, which is going to sort of sit on the side. Like so, and we lift him back up. We're going to turn the arms all the way around. And we won't flatten that out yet, but we can pull this down. And flip this over, do the same on the other side, that over. We're going to untab these and flip these up, and they can just go around the other side and just sort of pour it, plug in. Bring our arms down, rotate our biceps, correctly refigure re our hands, and then you're just going to untab here. Fold that back, that sits on the back. And that is robot mode almost all done. We can put Spike back where he was. So there's just a port on the back of here. That's where I have him sitting. So you can drop this down if you want, but that's what I do. As for Cerebros, all we're going to do is put these forward. There's a port here and a tab here. So this is all going to rotate up. And plug in the side, rotator around, flip them back, and we get sound effects. You have this sort of clip here, which is also in the inside here. And like I said, those are the buttons that I would normally press. So hopefully, there we go, we get sound effects. All right, final uh, accessories, which I haven't got around to yet. These guns here. Now, I, I, I have never taken these off. Oh, I better put this back. Oh, I think otherwise I'm going to forget. Just slide that in. Like so. And basically, these are just going to somehow unpeg. I've never actually taken these off. So, take, there we go. So, it's on sort of C-clip thingies. You fold that out. It doesn't lock in, but what you can do is then open his hands, and it's just a sort of a masterpiece piece here. Just try to get that between his fingers. Things are not where they want to be. There we go. 
some reason my middle finger doesn't want to move anyway. But yeah, if you don't have that big old gun, you can arm him up if you want. It just means your shin's going to be bare. But uh, yeah, I don't use that because I don't like it. Which, honestly, if I get it back on, there we go. Which, honestly, when you see the box, I'm pretty sure they will probably either possibly use the original um, uh, Titan's Return box, perhaps. Um, but he has a big old gun. Um, give me one second. So usually I have all my boxes in storage, but these are too damn big to put in a container by themselves. But this is the Titan's Return packaging. And he has this big old gun. That is nowhere to be seen in this box. So if you were hoping to get that in this um, collection, you ain't getting it. Non-existent. Doesn't happen. So, and as you see, everything on the back there. So, there we go. But if you've got this one, which like I said, I would have put a link into it already. You can use that to arm Sky up. It does come in red for those of you who want the um, Japanese for the Headmasters Fort Max. So there we go. And honestly, this wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Honestly, Power Glide, Ben Floyd's Power Glide, was harder to do than this. And it, honestly, it wasn't that awkward either. I want to say Nemesis was more awkward because with such tight panels. I do know that Mod Fans, who has made a figure that I have that I haven't reviewed yet, which I'll probably get to next week, um, has made a Japanese style fans toys ish um, Cerebros. So if you want a more Japanese version for either this one or your um, uh, Headmaster uh, Re Titans Return Colored Fort Max, you have that option. But I'm not getting it because I like my Cerebros with a faceplate and a single visor, and I couldn't get into the Japanese because the continuity is just, at least Headmasters, the lip sync is atrocious and. I hate what they did to a lot of the characters. Cyclonus, oh, Cyclonus, what they did to you. Um, but yeah, so that's that's neither here nor there. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. I promise you it will not hurt my feelings. Subscribe or ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Hopefully I won't forget any additional features this time, which I don't know why the uh, 50 second Power Glide Heart video got so many views, but. Thanks all, that's all I can say. But apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.